Welcome to FIFA Ultimate Team, the only place in FIFA 18 where you can build your dream squad. There are many ways to play Ultimate Team with a variety of single player and online modes available. To get started, choose a mode. Then play matches with your club. You'll earn rewards for each performance. The better you do, the more you will earn. From there, head to the transfer market where you can use your earnings to buy and sell players with other members of the community. Or you can open FIFA Ultimate Team packs for a chance to land a superstar. This is where your journey begins. Who will make it into your Ultimate Team? Welcome to FIFA Ultimate Team. The first decision you'll need to make as a manager is on your first squad. Choose your starter pack now. The country you select will put more players from this nation in your first squad. This is your first squad. Take a moment to look at the players. When you finish looking around, we'll get started making improvements to your ultimate team right away. I got plenty, wrote hits with prime mates, made a lot of pennies. Performance in the galaxy makes a little with the fish get the sharks to bite. Should we like cheers complete, y'all can call me buzz. Can't want amongst you, outdo the youngsters. I must have all better be mic they hand to me. Circle around your heart, a less star. Known for making moves on the bigger grooves. Big shoes about the size of canoes. Somebody pull their cell phone out, we on the news. Chill, this ain't about another crooked dollar bill. What the fuck? To make your squad better, you'll be bringing in a lone player who will improve the skill at one position to help your team in the first few matches. A lone player in Ultimate Team can only represent you in a limited number of games. When they have played their matches, they will leave your club. To get you started, we have gathered some highly rated lone players for you to choose from. Every club needs an identity, so let's select your starting home and away kits. These can be changed later as you find new kits in the game. A club crest will help solidify your identity as a team. You can change this selection as you find more badges in the game. Congratulations, you're now in charge of your new FIFA Ultimate Team. When you're ready, let's get onto the pitch and see how they play. We now want you to complete a few short objectives to get you familiar with some of the Ultimate Team basics.
Great, you have claimed your first reward. Completing objectives is a great way to earn extra rewards that will help upgrade your club. In the next objective, you will play your first match with your new club. We're going to start you off in Seasons mode. In this mode, you will start in Division 10. Earn enough points from winning matches and you will get promoted to the next division. Select a difficulty to get started, but choose carefully as you will not be able to change this during the course of the season. This is the squad you will play the next match with. Now is your chance to make any last minute adjustments. Advance when you're ready. Well, this is the first game of the season, and they will want to get off on the right foot. They're starting off at the bottom. Let's see what they can do. Well, you practice so long and so hard in pre-season training, and you hope to turn it all into three points. Let's see if they can. Number 17, Curtis Davis. Number 7, Giorgio Rossini. Number 14, Will Hughes. Number 13, Gabriel Agbonlojo. Number 10, Such an important position in the modern game uh, at fullback, and they've strengthened, haven't they, with this signing? Yeah, and I think you're always looking for athleticism when you're looking at your fullbacks, and this is a player that can get up and down all day. Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. Two banks of four, 4 4 2. Yeah, how it always used to be. Don't see it quite so often these days, but uh, that's a classic formation and uh, really capable of causing problems here today. One thing to look out for from this team today is the way they try and win the ball back within seconds of losing it. Yeah, and they don't do it individually. They get backed up by a teammate. They hunt in packs, and you've got to do that. You've got to do it with discipline. 